Good afternoon, everyone. So today we'll be discussing about topic transactions in continuation with our topic last time about art making or the process of art making. So let me share it to my screen so that we can start. So we will be dealing now about art, art and appropriation, what basically is art appropriation. Oh, yeah. So we come up with the word appropriation, but first we need to consider what is appropriation because um, if you are going to um, mind it, uh, and you need to, to look for an answer, what is appropriation, it will direct you to this one. So we have here, to appropriate is to take possession of something. So in art, it's the use of pre-existing objects or images with little or no transformation applied to them. So appropriate means to properly adopt, borrow, recycle, or sample aspects or the entire form of human-made visual culture. So the tape gallery pieces, the practice, the cubism and the which we had been discussing or we have discussed already on a midterm part. But continuing into 1940s surrealism and 1950s pop art, so it turned to prominence in 1980s with a neo geo artist. So when the word appropriation now had become a very a good, um, good word when you hear that one, but basically what it means is you adopted, you car borrowed, or you um copied the entire text from the original piece. So it means you are also um, doing a bad thing, right? You just, because you're copying, you're, you're somewhat like plagiarizing the work of other artists. But appropriation artists deliberate, deliberately copy images to take possession of them in their art. So they're not speaking or plagiarizing, nor are they passing out these images as their own very own. So he, this has been an issue of con controversy in art because um, this appropriation um, gives the authority of some artists to copy a certain style of that famous artist and yeah, make it make it as this, make it as their own. So the concept that the new work recontextualizes whatever it borrows to create the new work. In most cases, the original one, no, the original thing remains accessible as the original without the change. So yet this artistic approach does stir up controversies because some people view appropriation as an original or theft. So due to this, it's important to understand why artists appropriate the work, the artwork of others, you no? Know? It's because it's unoriginal. That means you copied that something, you know? did copy that style or that image, which is has been which has been depicted by the original artist. That's why it became a controversy. But why do you think appropriation is good? Comment it down below. You no know, comment in a comment section on our YouTube video so that. What is your idea? Let me say, how how was this appropriation good? Ano makaingon mang ka nga dili or dili um this appropriation is good? No, do you agree that appropriation is um? What is What is important? What is is not stealing? or is not plagiarizing the work of other people. Again, let, let me repeat the question for you to be clear enough for you. To be clear enough for you. So we have here the word, this question, why do you think or do you agree that appropriation is merely not stealing or plagiarizing? Support your answer. What is your idea about this appropriation? So what's the intent of appropriation? So appropriation artists want the viewers to recognize the images they copy. Of course, you no. Know, so if you want to copy something that should be recognized by the viewer. So they hope that the viewers will bring a lot, all of these original associations 
with the image to the artist's new context and will be in painting, a sculpture, a collage, a combine, or an entire installation. So the deliberate borrowing of an image for this new context is called, is called now as the contextualization. So con the con recontextualization, how the artist comment on the image's original meaning and the viewer's association with either the original image of the real meaning. So from the word appropriation, we have the word now recontextualization because it undergoes some changes that way recontextualize, no? Now recon, the word re there means the, there was a major change of the image which they copied from the first one to the second one. So it aimed to create a new situation and therefore a new meaning or set of meanings for a familiar image. So appropriation can be confusing because um, the line between the borrowing and appropriating and copying is often quite blurry. It's quite um, blurry. It's quite, um, what I call this one, it's quite in line with what we talked about appropriation and reconstruction the contextualization. So appropriation art crisis erases the question of originality. So we, how can we say that this second piece that the artist made is an original piece than the first one? No, the, the authenticity, no, the, the, what the, the essence of the being original is questioned and the authorship. Who, who made it better? Who was the original one. How can we say that? And because of this, it is useful to for exploring these concepts. These are examples of um, the artist or this who artists who use appropriation, but then again, they, um, they exceeded the expectations of the viewers. Just to be clear on the word of feminism. Feminism does not only look into the side of the women or the ladies out there, but it also talks about um, having the equality of men and women. No? And that is now the feminism. Like, for example, you are going to ride a jeepney or a multicam, and then you saw that ang lalaki nakahang lang ang babae nakahanggang sa gawa. Would that mean you're going to let that girl sit and ikaw ang lalaki na matindog? Now, there, were, there would be a feminist kind of view na if you wanted to, to stand and let her be. Oh, that is for feminism. But our culture would say, as a guy, you're going to offer your seat to the lady. So it's quite a, uh, confusing in our culture because we're in a Philippine setting. But when I say feminism, it also talks with boys. That is very true for feminism. And there would be equality among men and women, lady or gentleman or girl or boy. And also Pablo Picasso guitar, newspaper, glass, and bottle, which this kind of guitar, newspaper, glass, and bottle has been associated also in his artwork. Now, remember I let you make a mosaic. No, that one is a kind of an example on how we're going to incorporate those kind of pieces into your artwork. And this one, so Markel, the champ ready made fountain the Duke. These were examples of the days that we are talked about last, um, what do you call it, one? midterm. And look into the telephone, having a lobster kind of uh, design. Lobster, and it's called Lobster Telephone, 1936 by Salvador Dali. Examples. And also, there was also some controversy, of course, in politics or cultural appropriation. You know? There is still a cultural appropriation. And what is this? So one of the key arguments of many such critics 
is that one speaks to one's identity. So as a woman, as a Muslim, as an immigrant, and those who are not as A must take their cue from those who are, especially if they happen to be privileged by being white or male or straight. If, for example, uh, there, there is a culture of operation you say, ikaw in anak mong ka, Christian man ka, ikaw anak ka. As a Muslim, oh, there would be, there is somewhat a bias that happened because when you say like this one, like for example, you are you are a white man, so you be, you have a say on USA. You have a stand on what we're, uh, the news is all about. But if you are a black, you can never be there in that place. No, there is. A gender bias. There was. There is a violence that happened. That lived experience is on its way to becoming the superior and most veracious form of truth. You know? our experiences, our everyday experiences, has brought us to becoming superior among most veracious. So, what is really being appropriated, in other words, is not culture, but the right to police cultures and experiences because you know, we happen to live in a society that a lot of things happen. You know? And I would believe that culture should take a part of it. It's not culture. It's um, should culture be, there's, there is a question, should culture be part of this appropriation? You know? The right appropriated by those who license themselves to be arbiters of the correct forms of cultural borrowing. There are also cultural borrowing. So it deadens creativity and it assaults imagination. Why do you think it, it deadens or you know, of creativity and it assaults imagination? Because if you borrow something out from it, so we don't have the uh, audacity to, to think clearly of what we wanted to achieve, what we wanted to, to have. Right? Right? Ah, okay, it's okay. I don't know how much coffee na lang tag sa other one na other artwork or other culture na mga ways doing, di ba? So it did did and rather the creativity. Mamatay ang atong pagkakreative because people, as we are, are creative in our mind, no? That's why we have a lot of dreams, ambitions, and goals. And how how we're going to make it happen is we are just going to copy something out from. Those people, no? those culture. So the importance of imagination is that we can save ourselves beyond the, what where we are and beyond our own narrow again. Imagination, the narrow perspective to imagine other people, other words, other experiences without the ability to do that. Both artistic creativity and progressive politics shriven. So, so for this of cultural occupation. However, the real difference is not accepted. That's the identitarian. So please comment down below what is your answer on my question on the first one. Thank you and have a good day.